Located off of a small lake in Florida, Harder Hall has had quite the history since it opened in 1927. Added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1990, it has been in and out of like people's hands and ownership for a number of years now. Named after its designer, Louis F. Harder, it closed around the 1980s and there was rumors that each owner passing away mysteriously on the grounds of the hotel, leading people to believe that this place actually is haunted. Over the years, it has been acquired and let go by many owners because they wanted to turn this hotel back into what it used to be. Sadly, every single one of these has failed, with the latest attempt for it to become a nursing home ending in failure. Leaving this place stripped and gutted so there's not much left in here. However, the design is still beautiful because it's based off of the Spanish colonial architecture. It was also known to have a golf course and other acres of land before it was sold off piece by piece, leaving now just the hotel remaining and a couple of acres around the hotel, adding up to around seven acres of land. Join us today as we actually go inside of this hotel and give you the best look possible of it. All right, what's up guys? We're back for another explore. I and stepped on a dead animal. Yeah, she just did, and this entire place smells now. <laughs> Thank you. My shoe does. <laughs> but we're in this abandoned hotel, and it's not much left here, but it's just a lot of old architecture, and you don't see places built like this before. Um, we're gonna explore. We're gonna go test everything out. We're gonna take a look. And Grace is back exploring, stepping on mice again. Dead Yay! mice accident, actually. So keep watching us and make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. So the first room we entered appears to be like some sort of uh, conference room. Massive, massive archways. Um, a pretty basic setup. Um, basically all strips there's not much left here but it is pretty cool and pretty um modern hotels usually aren't made like this Going a little bit further into the hotel. Oh, ooh, there's some animal poop here. That's nasty. And animal guts. Those stepped on. Wow. Look at that room right here. All these fireplaces. Really, really cool. This might have been. I don't think it was a theater, but they might have had some sort of stage on here. I know there is a theater in this hotel, so we'll have to check that out. Definitely empty. Definitely kind of little eerie. Little, little eerie. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. This is my favorite place of this hotel already. Such a beautiful balcony and just well designed. Well, well designed. Up there is definitely caving in, so that is sad. Uh, 
nothing to be placed against this column. I wonder if this place is unsturdy in certain areas. That's the case. I love the archways here and the, uh, um, the design on this railing. That is a highlight of this place. What do you think? You want to check out a little bit upstairs? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. I'm going to turn on my light a little bit. And animal poop. Oh, this is so cool. These archways are painted and not really rusted. Wow. This is so pretty. I love the look of this room. So cool. part of the hotel yet. Look at this. Oh dang. Another sp Look at this. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Another spider. Oh, this is sketchy. <laughs> I think you're right. All right, we're gonna make our way up the stair. And hopefully, if we run into anybody, it's gonna be somebody friendly that wants to explore. Oh, look at this. This gets narrower and narrower. Eerie. This is so cool. Oh, more poop. I do wonder what animal made that. Look at this view this hotel had. Right on the lakefront property. This is legit. A little creepy though. <laughs> a lot of these halls are definitely stripped, so there's not much to see. I'll give you a look at some of them, but this angle right here, look at what we're gonna have to walk through. Severe, severe decay, but we're ready. <laughs> yeah. They definitely started work on this place and never finished it. Hallway over there hallway over there and old metal doors and stuff like that this place was historic and still is historic careful wow way cool I'll have to blow that out. Skinny. There's a bee's nest right there. I don't know if you can see them coming in and out of there. 
might be able to, I'm not gonna get any closer than this, but looks like it's big. Hot tub. Yeah, that's why I said. I did right there. This room was one of their suites. Very well could have been. Oh yeah, could have been. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm nervous about to be honest. This place is stripped. I did, I did. I knew that the main draw for this place is the architecture. So there's not much left in here. But you aren't going to see something like this, like in just your days in or your holiday yeah. in. Alrighty. So here's where they put some of the newer work in. That's creepy how that works. <laughs> oh, it's all pretty. this way is to get to the tower. Maybe. I can't tell. Massive room right here. This definitely has a Spanish architecture sort of look. This might be it. It's a double room. Look at this. This has been significant so long that this floor has run it down. I think this was abandoned in like the 1980s. Um, and then it, they got a hold of it around then in around 2000 or something like that. They started doing some new work to it. Um, and it's like, for a while. yeah, it's old. Hmm. Now we're just trying to get to the tower. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Yeah. This goes off a long way. I wonder if each of these floors was like a suite. Wow. It kind of looks like it. <clears throat> yeah. Alrighty, so after walking up the stairs, we're trying to find our way to the tower. We might have found something. I have a couple hot tubs. But. Nothing yet. leads to the tower. This might be one of the other coolest places. Look at out there. Next floor. See what they have up here. Whoa. So cool. 
Wow. It's almost like a bell tower. Slightly nervous about going up there. A huge elevator shaft in there. This right here is the huge motor that runs the elevator. So this is extremely cool. So I'm not gonna stand up here too long to not be seen, but everything's old. And I guarantee this doesn't work if you were to run it again. So we're gonna head back downstairs. We've seen a lot of the same old stuff. There's not much more really to this place because it's pretty much all hollowed out. We're gonna make our way back down and see what else we can find in the downstairs sections. Every door is like the same in this way, every hallway, very similar. A little bit, yeah. Except we're not really lost. We know where we are. Yeah, there's going to be a stairway. Here somewhere. Right here. Ooh, that's sketch. Be careful. Yeah, hang on. Right here, step over. Back to the base level. I don't think we've seen, we have too much more left to see. What do you think? I think so either. Yeah, a lot of the outside. We'll get some cool shots on the outside yeah. for you guys but most of this we've gotten, so that's awesome. So back at the where we first entered, take a little look over here, see if we can see anything cool. Ah, just a storage area, more or less. 